Hi, Miss Kibble. Nikki Little, I don't know how I'd keep the library in shape without your help. Oh, yeah, let's do this. Nikki, what are you doing? Organizing these books is the best stress reduction I know. Take a deep breath. Smell the musty pages. Be at peace. Yeah, yeah, we know all that. But snot tickets go on sale any minute. Come on. Nikki, remember that science test you, like, tutored me for? It's pronounced science. The C is silent. Well, I, like, got an E minus, and I've never broken a C plus. I am so, like, thank you. Maybe I can, you know, return the favor with some <gasps> makeup tips. Nikki, huh? seeing the flaming snot intimate acoustic tour is my life goal. If we don't get tickets, I will have failed at that goal. I will be a failure. Miss Little, that thing you told me about not mixing ammonia with bleach, it saved my life. You saved my life. Oh, it was nothing. I... <gasps> Okay, Milo and I are gonna go get tickets. Nikki Little, you trounced the competition in yesterday's math marathon. Oh, I haven't seen scores this high since your sister Becky was here. <gasps> Becky! Nikki, wait up. What about Becky? Is she hurt? Is it her birthday? Come on, PA. Everybody knows Becky's birthday is on the 8th. Pisces. She's coming here, isn't she? Your sister's visiting and you didn't tell us. You, you, you wanted to hog her for yourself. How could you? I'm not hogging anything. It's my parents' anniversary, and Becky's coming home from Harvard to celebrate. Now, if you'll excuse me, I don't want to miss her arrival. Man, Becky rocks. Remember when she single-handedly organized the city's recycling program? Do I? I helped her by gathering 6,000 petition signatures. Oh, and remember back in 96 when she gave us all Jennifer Aniston haircuts? We looked good. She was so grateful that I gave her the idea while watching. Ah, and remember when she taught that deaf-mute girl to say water? That was the Helen Keller story. Becky was in the Helen Keller story? Well, that girl won't quit. Guys, I know you're excited to see my sister, but this is kind of a family thing. Oh, that's cool. I thought that Milo and I were your family, but, uh, you know, whatever. Great, see ya! Weren't we going somewhere? Snot tickets for sale! Sold out show! 300 a pair! Did you say sold out? Are you talking or buying? Insult me like that again, and I'll rip your epic glass out! Bye-bye, <sighs> oh. <gasps> Becky! Great Don't meeting you! Don't forget to call next time <clears throat> in Munich! Welcome home, Becky! <laughs> Oh! Where's Nikki? Nikki? Oh, well, let's see. It's Thursday, so she's either overhauling the library or delivering meals to the bedridden. Still, she should be here by now. <gasps> Perplexing. Oh, well. Ow. And the Harvard Harpoon asked me to join, but I turned them down because, well, honestly, who wants to end up writing for television? <laughs> so true. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, frankly, Becky, your mother and I are a little worried that you're overextending yourself. Are you sure you can handle a triple major? <laughs> can Bertram Brockhouse handle slow neutron spectroscopy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, indeed he can. <laughs> oh. Ah, he won the Nobel Prize for Physics in 94, sweetheart. Looks like someone needs to brush up on their Jeopardy. Oh, <laughs> Oh, uh, So, Becky, tell us about your recent trip to Outer Mongolia. Well, there's no Inner Mongolia, but enough about me. How are things with you, Nikki? I've missed you. Well, since you asked, I got my pre-PSAT results back today. I got a perfect 800 in math and a 750 in English. No, Nikki, you shouldn't compare yourself to Becky. Not everyone has to get a perfect score. You should be very, very proud of that score. Very proud. Well, I am. And you know, I bet if I tutored you a little, we could bring that English score up 20, maybe even 25 points. Deckers, that is so sweet of you to offer. Nikki, isn't that sweet of Becky? Mm-hmm. Nikki, we've been looking all over for you. The Novel Nook, the Rialto, the Renaissance Fair. I thought you hated the Fuzzy Womp. Hate is a very ugly word, Milo. You said that violence in kitty games begets violence in life, which, Milo, is no game at all. Since when are you taking notes on Nikki? Since Becky left for college. There's nothing wrong with playing a harmless game of... Eat foam, Fuzzy. 
So, how is Becky? Can you ask her to stop by and take a look at my lawnmower? I think it's pulling to the left. Oh, and find out what kind of shampoo she's using these days. No one's hair shines like Becky's. <gasps> hey, Nikki, can I have these? July 3rd, 1997. Milo. Nikki, can I have your unused game tickets? Nikki. Anytime. <sighs> Nikki, wait. Don't you want to know why we were looking for you? No. When we stopped by the Rialto, we signed you up to audition for the Hazelnut Junior Orchestra. <gasps> You're welcome. No. What is all this no stuff? Do I need to remind you two what happened the last time I auditioned for the HJO? Do I? Ms. Little, that was the most flawless rendition of Green Sleeves I've heard to date. And I've heard many. Woo! Yeah, all right! Yeah, yeah good job, <laughs> Nikki! <laughs> and as always, we'll finish the audition with Tchaikovsky's perennial classic, Swan Lake. <sighs> that will be quite enough, Miss Little. Back, Swan's back! There is no way I'm going through that again. I'm afraid of swans, I'm not prepared, and I'm too busy trying to find the perfect anniversary gift before Becky shows me up yet again. I'm, I'm, I'm. Why is your audition all about you? Listen, everyone in the HJO gets a pair of season tickets for all performances at the Rialto, including the Flaming Snot Intimate Acoustic Tour. And Sherry Spleen and her one-woman show, I Spleenicus. If I did audition for the HJO, it wouldn't be for free tickets. It would be for the honor of sitting first chair at the Rialto, for the respect of my peers and the admiration of my elders. Exactly. You get those things, and we get the tickets. The way I see it, it was your fault we got distracted from buying snot ticks in the first place. You owe us. Don't you get it? I'm afraid of swans. Well, have you tried picturing them in their underwear? <gasps> if we want those tickets, we've got to help her get over the swan thing. Uh, Pepper Ann, sit down. How to put this? Mm. Oftentimes, when you attempt to help people, they end up worse off than before you... You don't think I know that? But this time, I'm going to be prepared. I'm going to do my research. I'm going to read every book I can find. Cool. So let's head to the library. The what, Ari? Nikki, I know what I'm talking about. Come on. Just do it for me. You're wasting your time. It says right here, affirmations are a proven method of conquering fears and achieving goals. Now, I'm not giving up until you try it. Try it! <sighs> I am bigger than the swan. I am smarter than the swan. Though the swan has a sharper beak than I, it is too small to do serious damage. Oh, darn. Oh! You didn't even give it a shot, Little! Now, get your fanny back out there and dodge some balls! But I was hit. The rules of dodgeball clearly state that once hit... Out! <sighs> that woman won't be happy till I'm bludgeoned to a pulp. Uh, Nikki, I can't hear you. <sighs> I am bigger than the swan. I am smarter than the swan. Though the swan has a sharper beak. Little! What do you want from... <gasps> All right, girls, take a lap. My star student dropped by and she and I need to make like tomatoes and catch up. <laughs> you get it? Catch up! Oh, I grabbed myself. Up. Star? Tomatoes? Oh, Becky here was like a like a daughter to me. And a savior to the otters. An otter daughter. <laughs> I'm funny today. I never knew you were good in sports. I thought you just wanted to be well rounded for the Harvard application. Well, this girlie sure didn't get any of the little athletic genes, huh? You could have helped her out some, Becky. Would have made my life easier. Huh? Well, I tried, but. Okay, Nikki. Remember when I caught the ball? Now you catch it, too. Catch 22? Your Saurian was moved very deeply by the absolute simplicity of this clause of Catch 22. Yes, Catch 22 is a good book, but now we're catching the ball. Why do you continue to hit me with that white spherical object? I have no recollection of that. When we realized that you weren't the best athlete, we decided to de-emphasize my minor sporting victories. Minor? Becky the Bullet Little took us to the championships in volleyball, softball, tennis, and she wrote and copyrighted our paws, claws, teeth, and fur. We're a part of one our church year. Oh, there you go. 
royalties. Becky the Bullet? If you were such an athletic prodigy, how come I never saw any trophies? We kept them in the trophy annex. You have a trophy annex? <laughs> hey, it was over seven years ago. I'm sure you've come a long way from the sorry athlete you were at age five. Here, catch! What are you lying around for? Come on! I am bigger than this one. I am smarter. Hey, Becky, your hair looks great. <laughs> Go away! Pepper Ann will be right back on Toon Disney. Now, back to Pepper Ann, right here on Toon Disney. Guys, we're burning daylight. Are you helping me overcome my fear of swans, or what? You told me if I mentioned swans one more time, you'd rip my tongue out and bronze it for Becky's trophy annex. Which I'd love to see, by the way. Uh, the trophy annex, not PA's ripped out bronze tongue. I downloaded the HJO rasters from the past 15 years. Not a single little in the bunch. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to play the feathers out of Swan Lake and be the first little in the HJO. What happened to the respect of my peers and the admiration of my elders? Rantings of a neophyte, Milo. Come on, you guys want those tickets, and I want to rub the HJO in Becky's face so hard she won't need to exfoliate for months. <laughs> cool. Because we have a lot of work to do. <laughs> you said it, Swan. Actually, Pepper Ann, that was me. The swans can't talk. Nikki's friends, Pepper Ann, Milo, remember? Uh, pretty. We're just going out, that's all. Not to do anything specific or conquer any fears. Bye! There is no way I'm letting Becky know about my swan issues. Facing swans is just one more thing that she does better than... Pepper Ann, what are you doing? I stopped off at Lloyd's Discount Psychology Clothiers. Their prices are clinically insane. If you're gonna get serious about this swan thing, so am I. You demonstrate classic signs of sibling rivalry. You know, I once tried to mail moose to San Antonio. Deep six the psychobabble and bring on the birds. Nikki, you can face the swans without fear. This is the perfect melding of technology and psychology. And these virtual sodas are great. Ugh, this one's diet. <gasps> nice swan. Nice computerized can't hurt me swan. <laughs> Okay, Garrett Gopher's mail order psychology literature recommends submersion therapy. Pepper Ann, I don't think there's such a thing as sub. Hey, this baby cost me two Gary Gopher's green tea proofs, and this time I know what I'm doing. Now get in there and face your fears. Swan feed, get your swan feed. Damn swans is as tame as dead turtles. Kids, they come and kids, they go. And ain't one of them lost a finger since 94. If it gets to be too much, you just say the word and we'll yank you right out. We're close to those tickets, PA. I can almost smell them. Milo, this isn't about tickets anymore. This is about helping our friend Nikki. So, what do you think Flaming Snot will open with? Okay, I'm ready to come out. Oh, oh hit me with your best snot. Definitely. You got really? It. I always saw that as more of an encore number. Didn't you hear me screaming? No. Uh-uh. Forget it! It's no use! I can't do it! 
I hate my sister. <gasps> I mean, swans. I hate swans. I love my sister. I love her. It's the swans that I hate. <laughs> the swans. Hate is a very ugly word, Nikki. That and moist. Think about it. Moist. Nikki, that's it. Your fear of swans is just a manifestation of your Becky issues. You see yourself as the ugly duckling, and Becky as the beautiful, perfect swan. Hey, I may not be Jennifer Love Hewitt, but that doesn't mean I'm... You couldn't handle your jealousy of her. So your feelings of insecurity and fear of Becky were displaced onto the swans. You just have to confront Becky, and you'll be fine. Pepper Ann, you... That actually made sense. I just have to talk things out with Becky, and my fear of swans will vanish. <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. You know what else is an ugly word? Guava. You wanted to talk to me? Don't mind me. Your father gave me an early anniversary present, and we thought, wouldn't it be nice to put this in Nikki's room with the treadmill? And then in six or seven years, when you go off to school, we'll convert it to a full gym. I can't take it anymore! Becky is so perfect that her room has to be enshrined while I have to sleep in the gym? I know that Becky is the perfect daughter, but... Me? Hardly. You're the one... Girls, with the exception of fire drills and health policy debates, we do not raise our voices in this house. Oh, goodness. Well, to be honest, Nikki, I thought it'd be too painful for Becky to have the weight equipment in her room. As good an athlete as she was, she could never bench press more than 20 pounds. Is that why I always had to carry in the groceries? Well, Nikki, you can lift practically anything. Remember that time Milo got stuck under a washing machine and you... <clears throat> uh... uh <clears throat> How could you possibly think I was the perfect one? You're stronger than I am. You're more creative. You have these wonderful, loyal friends. They dropped me in a New York Minute to hang out with you for an afternoon. All I ever hear about is the amazing Nikki Little. I'm not amazing. You are. Now, just let me get all of this off my chest so I can conquer my fear of swans and... What did you say? I know. I have no chest to speak of, and you've been a... No, after that, the swan part. I'm afraid of swans. <gasps> So am I. I thought I was the only one. I can't believe we're both afraid of swans. So now that we've worked through our jealousies and feelings of inadequacy, we won't be afraid of swans anymore? Exactly. I arrived at this conclusion, rather to my own surprise, when Nikki inadvertently blurted out that she hated. Okay, are we swan bonding or what? So much for that. How am I ever going to get through playing Swan Lake? Congratulations, Ms. Little. I'd like you to play first chair. Rehearsal starts tomorrow, 3 p.m. Be sharp. <laughs> get it? Sharp? <laughs> oh, and by the way, here you are. Tickets to the symphony season. <laughs> Be sharp. <laughs> symphony season? Symphony season? Oh, what about Flaming Snot's intimate acoustic? What about I Splenicus? I did not go through all this for a set of symphony. Milo, we went through all this to help Nikki. And tickets or no tickets, it was worth it. Congratulations, Nikki. We can scalp these to Shelf McLean for front row seats at the... I'd prefer to give these to someone who'd actually appreciate them. They'll make the perfect anniversary gift for Mom and Dad. So, Nikki, which one of my methods brought you around? Was it the systematic desensitization? The affirmations? The aversion therapy? Uh, the middle one. Yes, yes, I thought so. What is this? Nothing. <laughs> what? What are you writing? Oh, I'm sick of you writing down my every word. Give me that notebook this instant, you plagiarist! Plagiarist? Is that with two G's? <sighs> Goodbye, sweetheart. Don't forget to email. Congratulations on the HJO. 
I'm really proud of you. Thanks. I'm proud of you, too. I'd much rather have an amazing sister than some freak I'd be embarrassed to be related to. Come on, Dieter. Six more laps and those hiccups will be as cured as the ham hock you ate for brunch. Trust me, I've done extensive research on the matter. Becky, take me with you. For the love of fuzzy moose, keep the camera rolling. We need documentation. I'm glad we talked everything out. Even if we didn't get rid of our fear of swans. Huh, I really thought that was the reason. Oh, Becky, I am so glad I didn't miss you. I was cleaning out the attic to make room for the gym, and I completely lost track of time. I got a little nostalgic going through you girls' old toys. <gasps> Happy travels, my dear. Call when you get there. Bye, sis. Let me know if you ever figure out the swan thing. I will. What's one thing? It's silly, really. Becky and I are both terrified of swans. I guess we'll never figure out why. Swanny want to play. <laughs>